Grace Googie's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and this is Ted and today we are going to show you how to make my delicious potato and leek curry. As I just mentioned today I'm going to be making my delicious potato and leek curry and once again I'm going to be using my slow cooker to cook this meal in. This slow cooker is a life saver for me. It's not only saves time but it saves money and um, it's a really brilliant piece of equipment. This isn't an advert for slow cookers but I do really appreciate having this in my just kitchen. Kidding, this isn't an advert, shall I? So um, we are going to be having this for dinner this evening and I thought while I was making it I'd share the recipe with you. So here is how to make my potato and leek curry. So to make this potato and leek curry, obviously you're going to need potato and leek. So I have chopped up one large Hold leek. In. Okay. Put the curry in. So I've chopped up one large leek, and then I have. All this pork. Hang on a minute. Uh, one pepper that I've sliced. I removed the core and sliced. Uh -huh. One carrot that I've also peeled and sliced, and then I've got about 800 grams of potato. I want to play with this that I've also peeled and chopped to about an inch thick piece as well. And then I'm going to pour in some tomatoes. tomatoes. Do you want to do this one first? Tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. jinx! Two I tins we, we of... We should tomato at the same time, jinx! Yeah, two tins of 400 <laughs> gram tomatoes are going to go in there as well. And then in this jar here. The original recipe calls for about 400 gram, 400 mils of coconut milk, but my son doesn't really like coconut milk. So what I did last night was I um, soaked some cashew nuts in some oat milk overnight in the fridge and then I blended them in a bit more oat milk this morning. So I think this is about 400 mils of oat milk and cashew nuts, which my son is now going to pour in. Yes! So yes. Yeah, that if you don't like, like coconut that milk, looks like yogurt. it does, doesn't it? If you don't like coconut milk, that is a brilliant alternative, I think. Right, and then you're going to put in one, the teaspoon, the one teaspoon of oregano. Why don't you put it in the jar, Ted, rather than tip it? Put it into the jar, sweetheart. Okay. That's it. Bit of homeschooling going on as well. Careful. That's it. Right, so you've done one teaspoon of that, you need one teaspoon of garam masala. Now you might need help putting that off, hang on a minute. Oh no! Okay. Ah. Not... <laughs> Very independent. Right, you need a bit more than that. There's only a little bit left, so what I'm going to suggest just is... Just pour it in. Yeah, I'm just going to pour it in. So that's that one done. And then you need one teaspoon of mild chili oh, yeah. powder as well. Burn it. Two teaspoons in Yep, you're done on that. And then we're going to put a little bit of salt in as well. Oh, it's probably been going in my eye. I think Did it? The salt. Did it? Oh dear, that's not good. And I'm trying to get it out. a little I'll bit of black oh, pepper oh, as well. Oh. You got it out? Oh, what are you doing? I'm it out. Okay, right. And then I'm going to go over here, I'm going to get a spoon. Okay, and I'm going to mix. Do you want to stir it? All of these ingredients together. I'm making Mr. Curry. Yeah. And then. Oh my god, that is hard. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in for about seven to eight hours. And at the end, I'm going to throw in some greens as well, but I'll show you that later on. So finally, before I serve this meal, I'm just going to put a couple of handfuls of spinach into it. You can have spinach or you can add green beans if you want to. You can also add kale to. The decision is yours. We like spinach, so that's why I'm adding it. So I'm just going to let this wilt down and then I will serve dinner. And that's job done. So I've just served myself a little bit of the curry and this is what we're going to be having for our dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. So this recipe
recipe. I will link in the description box below for you. But for now, that's it from us. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.